Hi guys, it's Presley, and I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you're all staying safe. Um, it's kind of the craziest time we're in here. But, so today I decided I'm going to read you a book. It's called Be Kind, and the author is Pat Zaitlow Miller, illustrated by Jen Hill. <laughs> Tasha spilled grape juice yesterday all over her new dress. Everybody laughed. I almost did too, but Mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. I don't think it worked, I said. Purple is my favorite color. I thought Tasha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put her art smock, she put on her art smock, and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tasha that art was my favorite class, but she did. I didn't want to leave her again, so. I painted purple splashes and added some green until I, until I add, I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While painting, I thought about Tasha. Should I have handed her my napkin, let her borrow my sweatshirt, spilled my juice so everyone started to laugh at me instead? What does it mean to be kind, anyways? Maybe it's giving. Maybe giving cookies to Mrs. R Mr. Andini, who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my two tight shoes. He might win a race with them, too. Maybe it's helping putting dirty, dirty dishes into the sink. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He is a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl if she would like to be my partner. Listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling or recycling a bottle or saying thank you, bless you. My mom says the qu quickest ways to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Kayla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandeli. Um, these are funny names. Being kind can be hard, too, even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something is good. I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. I can't solve Tasha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is to sit her back next to her in art class. And paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things that other people do. And together, they can grow into something big. Something really big. So big that all our kindness spills out of our school. Spread throughout town. Travel across the country. And all, go all the way around the world.
right back to Tasha and me, so we can be kind. Again, and again. And, again. The end. Okay, so I really like that book just because it's it also simple ways to be kind to others, and it also teaches us that if we do um, a small act of kindness, it can potentially lead up to something big. So, um, make sure while we are in this crazy world situation that you are always kind to one another, especially your siblings, because um, they're always going to be there, and I hope that you all are staying safe and are staying healthy, and yeah. Um, I'm going to miss you so much, and you guys are the best buddies in the whole wide world. All right. Bye, guys.